beware, be prepared for very offensive language and adult themes from the start and throughout. what we've actually learned from tonight's show. I've learned that Keith Chegwin's a bit angry. Uh, the housemates think Emma is scared of Perez. No, no. Uh, and Katie Hopkins wants us to own our own shit. So it's quite nice, yeah? <laughs> Casual Katie. Uh, we've only got three days now until this year's champion is crowned, but there is still loads to talk about, so let's crack on with it and see who's in the green room tonight. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, it's Dappy and Cammy! <laughs> Guys, looks like you're having quite a lot of fun in there. What you've you been doing? Well, we've been doing a bit of arts and craft. This is my very own Michelle. Look at her knockers. Look at the knockers on Michelle. I like that, Daps. What about you, Cam? I have Perez Hilton, and he can never say I never gave him a compliment. I actually made his penis bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Cam, there was a lot of fallout from your eviction last night. Uh, are you glad that your departure has really got the drama going again? Oh, honey, that's what I'm here for. That is what she is here for. Cam, who are you missing, though, babe? You must be missing some of them. Uh, yeah, I'm missing all of them except Cav. And, um, but I am missing Keith and I'm missing Cal and Katie's and Michelle. Well, you haven't got long to see them, babe. They're going to be out at some point this week. Yeah, hopefully by tomorrow. <laughs> oh, little party night. Uh, that's a little birdie says that uh, you've got a bit of a crush on one of our housemates. Is that right? Do you know what? Despite the fact I'm sitting next to Cammy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not be a good boy. I, I can't lie. I do. I, I really. I like uh, Miss Katie Hopkins. She's a what? Oh, what do you mean? No, keep it down. Wait, wait. But I'm just going to put it out there. If I could see Daffy and Katie Hopkins <laughs> together, I know she's got a husband. I don't mean it like that, but that would make the I best see. front page in the world. Uh, but listen, guys, I don't want any trouble from you two tonight. All right, so Daffy, no boat a boat, no boat a boating. <laughs> No, Moe voting Cammy and Cam, I saw your interview last night and don't think I didn't notice that awful language you were you coming You love it, Bobby. Well, I do a little bit, but I've got you something for you, so have a little look. Oh, a little swear jar. Yeah. A little swear jar for Cammy. I need so, it. So I hope she does that a few things tonight because I'm not getting paid to do this for free. So we'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> Give them a round of applause. Bye. Well, listen, from that scandalous bombshell of a green room to another, it is time for tonight's news. It's Tuesday the 3rd of February. I actually thought it was Wednesday, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and at 12.14 this afternoon, Perez reflected on his day yesterday. Look, <clears throat> I made a recreation of my artistic representation from yesterday of my time in the house. It's like a mountain what is it? of shit. A mountain of oh, shit. shit. <laughs> Mucky. That looked like something else to me. Like, a little bit done. Uh, well, anyway, it's nice to see he's enjoying his life in the house at the moment. Uh, at 12.35 this afternoon, Michelle and Katie Hopkins bonded over Dapier like this. Cup sizes. Oh. Bit of padded nude. Little Feel padded. the padded. Oh. Imagine trying to get that round your nose. My daughter wears this. <laughs> your 12 year old. Oh. <laughs> You should try putting it on. <laughs> mm. oh. If we tuck it in there. Okay. There. There, it nearly works. Oh, Ooh, what's that? Don't worry about that. Okay, we go. Okay. okay. There. Not convincing anyone? There's my little boobs. Right. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You know, it's, 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 it's like that saying, you know, friends are like bras, close to the heart, and they're there for support, aren't they? That's what I mean. <laughs> Uh, it's time now to head over to our news correspondent in the reality gallery in, I believe, five, six, seven, eight. It's Claire from Z! Yeah! Please, my big sister! Oh, Claire, do you know what? It feels like you're only a heartbeat away, babe. It really does. 
you like that? What's going on, folks? Well, apart from me just being a bit mesmerised by Michelle's hat. I know, it's glitzy, isn't it? Really nice, like that. Um, so, the housemates, don't know if this is interesting or not, I've just had a lovely dinner made by Callum of peppers and rice. No, it's not interesting at all. No? OK, let me find you one that is... Oh, Callum is, again, annoyed with Katie Hopkins. Oh, why? Because she's been a bit um, pally-pally with Perez today. What?! I know. So you're telling me Katie Hopkins and Perez are getting a bit friendly? It looks like it, yeah. And Callum is not What's going on in this world? She's playing the game. She is playing. She's Claire, we're running out of time, but, but give me one more for sorrow. Oh, my God! <laughs> right, I'm going to nick your next line, because it would be a tragedy, wouldn't it? Oh, no, I was going to say that. <laughs> um, one last one. Katie Hopkins has told Perez that he'll be in the final. Well, I, I think, think she's staring the pot. It's looking that way, but we're going to have to see about that. Give it up for Claire from Steps. Get down here, girl. Uh, largely at 3.20 this afternoon, the pricey showed us that there's no end to her talents. How do you speak Welsh? I love the Welsh. Language. Hi, I'm Welsh. Mm. Welsh, Welsh, I live in the hills. Welsh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can't your accent? I can't do any okay. accent. <laughs> Let me Did get the Coca-Cola out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Where <are you> from? <laughs> I can do Manchester now. Do Manchester. Hey, I'm Katie, and I'm from Manchester. Yeah, I'll throw on Geordie. Oi, oi, sweetheart. Do you want to come to my bedroom? The K's are... <laughs> Michelle? No, no, there's not a K in my head. Yeah. Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. Katie Price. Katie You're Price. fucking hey, gorgeous. My I name's Katie. Katie, Katie Price. Price. Oh, and I'm God, fucking God. gorgeous. Yay! Is that it? <laughs> gorgeous. Is that even real? Does she think that that's... Do you know what? It says, it says it on here. It says do a Manchester accent. I can't do a Manchester accent, but I will do the next news in Northern Irish. How's that? Yay! I can do that one. But... <clears throat> and finally, at 6pm yesterday, housemates got creative with a paintbrush. Yeah, I was good. Housemates must create a painting of their experience in Big Brother. I like it. better than letters in home. <laughs> no. Beautiful. Oh, be they look more like a forensic team, I thought. Uh, like a little episode of CSI. Uh, tune in later to see some of those paintings up close and personal in this studio. And that is today's news. <laughs> Join me after the break to find out why the housemates are talking about dogging. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, she may have had 24 hours out of that house, but she is back on bots. Cammy Lee will be taking it to church and back when she lays into her fellow housemates. There Go she back. is. Girl, bye, indeed. Uh, but first, <laughs> it is finale night this Friday, and who wins? You decide! You decide. This week, Callum, Katie Hopkins, Kavanagh, Keith, Michelle, Perez and Katie Price all face the public vote. Who wins, you decide. From a landline, call 090 20 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. From a mobile, call 6 44 24 and add the number of the housemate you want to win. For Callum, add 03. For Katie Hopkins, add 07. For Kavanagh, add 08. For Keith, add 09. For Michelle, add 11. For Perez, add 14. For Katie Price, add 15. Mobile and BT landline votes cost 50 pence. Other landlines may vary. Or you can vote via the Big Brother app, where two votes will cost you 99p. Voting will freeze on Wednesday during the eviction show, and the two housemates with the least votes will be evicted. The vote for the remaining housemates will then reopen and the lines will finally close in Friday's final. If you're watching on Catch Up after that, please don't vote. Votes cast after lines close won't count. For full terms, go to the Big Brother website. Welcome back to 
celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Now, listen, it was actually funny because um, in the break, I was just thinking about that time that um, I was in um, this studio with uh, this woman who used to work here. And uh, <laughs> we used to have the same hairdo, like, I we wore the same clothes, like, yeah, we both fancied the same one from Busted, like. <laughs> now she's fucked off and left me by myself. <laughs> But it's fine, because it's my show now. Here's an exclusive. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Go back! I'm going to have to get out and publicly apologise to everybody for my swearing. So let me start now. Everybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> it has been relentless. I was thinking about that last night with my row with Perez. I thought, God, I really use... But it's like, if you don't use them so much beforehand, you can tell the emphasis on how oh, you felt no, at that time. Oh, no, it was time. a beautiful speech. <laughs> it was I was actually watching you were like, hmm? I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I saw you nodding at me each time I went. I'm like, yeah, keep going. <laughs> keep going. Yeah, yeah, ooh, ooh. It was great. It was great. It had to be done. It wasn't too much. You kept your calm. Your vein popped a little. I felt it throbbing. But it worked. It was, it was the point made. And, and then think, he came back with like, um, so yeah, really, I think I'm your friend. Yeah, and then he actually came in here and was like, well, I'm sorry, that's I got it wrong. About. And I'm like, okay, so now you're coming at me with an apology after you just tried to insult the fuck out of me. But that's his for the second that's time. The way he manipulates. Yeah, no. There's no honesty to that. No. Maybe. Time now to talk about the main show and meet tonight's fantastic panel. Please welcome my sister from another Mr. Claire from Steps, the one and only Dappy, and bitch, please, it's Cammy Lee. Yeah! Uh, just quickly, just uh, taking on board what Keith said about Cammy not having a moment of glory. Is that all right? Are we happy? Are we happy? Thank you. Thank just for you, you both. Just for Thank you, you. Boo. Thank uh, now, listen, let's start with Keith, actually, aka Switzerland, as he's now known. Uh, he's finally got off that fence, people! <laughs> Oh, we saw him lay into the others tonight over Cammy. Now, Cam, that was quite nice of him that he was saying that about you, that you deserved that moment. What do you make of it? I think that uh, I underestimated Keith. Yeah? And I think he's a really nice guy. Do you feel guilty that you nominated him now? No. Well, he nominated me, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I do, actually, because Cav should have taken his place, honey. Mm -hmm. oh! Oh! That's, snake in the garden. Are we enjoying seeing Chega's feisty you know side? What? Yeah, I mean, when I see that man, all I want to do, he just makes me want to go, oh, and just cuddle mm -hmm. him. Like, he's it's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a like... cute man, isn't he? He's a cute person. That's that. Like, when I see him arguing with people, I'm like, nah. It's fun, it's good TV, but just I just let him do the washing up and have a lovely yeah. time. <laughs> what are we making a Keith at the minute? Boring. I think he's as good as a wet boring. paper towel, to be honest with you. Really? Oh, yeah. boring. It's boring. Why is he even there? Like, you know what I mean? Do you he's, he's, he's a waste of one person. <laughs> he's a waste of one person. Oh, oh we've got a dad to the house. Oh, no. the house. Oh, what are you making a Keith? I think he's so cute. He he's is. Like, well, hey, hey. Do you think he's done enough to win? No, no I just, uh, but he's the dad of the house. Like, there's Mummy Michelle, mm -hmm. Daddy Keith. Get back, that's what he's doing, he's there. Oh, God, it's a Tuesday and they're already <laughs> fighting amongst themselves. Uh, listen, for a start, <laughs> this hasn't happened often, but all of us have actually been in there, us yes. four. Yeah. So I want to know, Claire, how difficult is it to be in there and not get, you know, wrapped up in all the controversy that goes on? Um, oh, it is really difficult, but I, I mean, I was involved in controversy, not by my own kind mm. of choice, really. I just ended up being in the middle of it, but it is really difficult. And we've got nothing else to think about all day long, except, you know, silly, petty little mm -hmm. arguments. You know, of course you're going to get sucked and into that, it. And that is all it is, is silly, you, petty arguments. I'll see you. Look, Riles, check it. If me and you in the house, Cammy's there. And I say to Cammy, <laughs> I say to Cammy, uh, Cammy, um, you see Rylan, there's two things you can do mm. to stay out of that whole two-faced circle. Yeah. You either say, um, no, who's Rylan? Go get him or walk away from the situation and you stay out, stay out of that the whole two-faced. That is the thing, I think we've seen that a lot this series. People talking to each other, but 
when it comes out that someone says something, yeah, but I'd say it to their face, but you didn't you say didn't, it to their face. You didn't. I you totally didn't. get that, like, yeah, you would say it to their face, but you actually didn't. Can I say something? You can um, say what you like. Oh, though. honey, yes, because, um, listen. So what had happened was, uh, all right, so we're talking about Patsy, right? And it really bothers me. When I was in the house, it bothered me. People would talk about Patsy and her comas and, mm. you know, and maybe she really was meditating, but her and I had such a great relationship. It mm. bothered me when they would say mm. these things, but they made it seem like they did tell her, but in reality, they didn't say... To her face. To her face. Exactly. You and I think that's saying? why a lot of these arguments are coming about. Like I just said, they're saying they've said it, but they actually haven't said it to her face. Yeah. They've said it behind their back. they said it behind their back. Exactly. Let's move back to Keith quickly, because uh, Katie weren't happy with him. Uh, she called him a surly, grumpy, rude and obnoxious old man. <laughs> Um, Cam, do you think that's fair to say no, that about him? No, it's very him? not fair. You know what? Uh, I love Katie, and I don't think it's right because you don't like someone. You don't um, try to pick at their flaws, let's just say. Mm -hmm. And Keith is not a fucking gr uh, uh, grumpy old man. Swear, Joe! Swear, Joe! <laughs> uh, he's not a grumpy old man. He's actually really nice, and he... Mm wants the best for everyone, and he just wants to keep that kitchen clean, honey. He and just that wants kitchen to is sparkling. It. you got to give him that. Yeah, you got to give him does. that. Yeah, he does. And he, that's how he keep, gets through his day and thinks about Maria and bleaches the sink and... Just has a lovely time in the kitchen. And... He's a nice man. He's a nice man. Uh, let's quickly move on to Callum. He had a few choice words for Perez tonight. Uh, yeah. Saying that no one in the country likes him. Uh, Claire, we had Heidi and Spencer. Could you live with Perez? <laughs> Well, Perez <laughs> is spidey, like, a million times amplified, yeah. isn't he? He's absolutely... I think even I probably would have blown my stack yeah. at Perez. But it's interesting how Callum knows that everybody in the whole country doesn't like I him. I Let's be fair, well. I don't think it's a bad guess, is it? <laughs> really, it's not a bad guess. He, um, Somebody likes him because they're voting for him, aren't they? Callum dropped the C-bomb tonight. Mm. Um, what we making of that, Daffy? Like, did you deserve that? I'm not even thinking too much. Obviously, he shouldn't have said what he said, but I'm thinking about if if Katie Hopkins, <coughs> Perez, and Cammy was to leave the house, what, what what's what, left? What's left? Do you think well, that's why? This, do you think that's why Perez is still there because look, he's bringing look, so much? At the end of the, the day, table. look, I know some people might think, why don't big him up? I'm not bigging him up. I'm trying to say, obviously, despite the fact he does all them cringing things, he's got a big head and whatnot. I'm trying to. Really I'm, big. Really I'm playing, big I'm playing. person. I'm trying to tell you that, like, at the end of the day, he's in the Perez show, Perez show, Perez show. He's why is everyone airing it? Why is everyone airing him doing the? Because it's like it is the Perez show. This. Yeah. His head can't even fit. I in can't that lie. Every, all I keep hearing him saying is the Perez show, the Perez show. Oh God! Do you know what? I'm literally. I go home at night and. In my head, I hear it. it's the Perez show. <laughs> like, really so, what are you not making of the Callum Perez situation? I think it's good. I you... think it's good because he's dug out Callum. Callum's been a bit quiet. He's dug out Callum, so Callum's now ruffles his feathers and he's mm. getting a bit mouthy. Ever so I think it's brought left. it's Ever brought Callum left. to the Ever light. Since so... left, he's grown some balls. Like he's you know, he's grown some balls. I want to see what you think, because this guy, before we went on air, was so excited to be here. <laughs> what are you making of Callum and Perez? I mean, I mean, like, Callum in there, he's a bit quiet, as we see. So, yeah. basically, Perez hits him as a target, trying to get his nerves out. So, I think, I agree with Callum what he's done. I think he's come out of his shell now, he's told him how he feels. Do you think, do you think that's what Perez wants? Yeah. Yeah. It's the only yeah. yeah. He's just, he thrives off people going, I don't like you, I don't like you. And he goes, oh, my God, right, OK, I'm going to do this then. So yeah, he's just purposely it's winding purpose, yeah. people yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, well, listen, it wasn't a loud night for the Pumaisi. Uh <laughs> She had a bit of a quiet one. Uh, Claire, do you think she's in danger of maybe falling a bit under the radar now? I, I think that's probably what she's trying exactly to do. She doesn't want to be anywhere on that radar because it's not a good place to be mm. in that house, I don't think. But she's Katie Price. I think she'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Never underestimate the pricey. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's quickly talk about Hilton and Hopkins. Uh, last week they were playing Kiss Chase around the kitchen. Uh, and uh, tonight we saw them being quite friendly to each other in the bathroom. Oh. Uh, Cam, do they secretly <laughs> like each other? I think yes, there's sexual tension, man. Sexual oh. tension? Yeah. Unless you bend over, there's no sexual tension. Um, I think that... Katie genuinely does not like him, but 
it kind of I think it's similarity. Pisses me off too that she talks so much shit about him, and then she's like, "Oh, let's run around and act like you're gonna kiss me." I I told her that too. I don't know if they showed that, but I told her that, and she kind of had nothing to say because I know if it was Michelle or anyone else, she'd have those snide little comments on the side and would mm. say something. So, Katie, don't be playing that own, your own game, honey, because we see it. We all see it. Claire, what are you making of Hopkins? Oh, I don't know. I I mean. Before she went in, I just thought, absolutely can't stand the woman. Then she started to turn it around. I thought, mm -hmm. actually, sort there's something about yeah. her that I quite like her and hated myself for it. And now <laughs> I just think she's just playing the biggest game ever. She's a complete and utter hypocrite. She's not a very nice person. And Yay! I still don't like her! Yay! Dad, I know you like a bit of the Hopkins, but what are you she's... making of her as a person? I, I want to know if that's how she is when they, on a day-to-day -day basis. I think we all do, don't we? I wonder no, look. if those little moments, like when she's chasing Perez or Perez is chasing her around, there's, they're the moments where she's dropping the act and yeah. she's actually kind of allowing herself to be in the moment rather than keeping up the Katie Hopkins persona. Yeah. And look, for, for, from when she run, runs around in a onesie and slippers, <laughs> Pink beanies on. She's obviously got a fun side to her. You know yeah, I think we like saw that. that, didn't we? Beginning of the series, she was Katie Hopkins behind the keyboard. Yeah. Then she sort of had that slip where it was like, oh, Ooh. she seems like we all, like Claire just said, we all hated herself for saying it, but she seems half all right. Yeah. Now it's coming to the end. She's picked the, the game back the up. The reason I like her because she's very smart, she's very quick witted. She always justifies her point in an Bit argument. Sexy. She's sexy. <laughs> <I don't care. laughs> I love this. This, is, this could so happen. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> give him a good round of applause. That was nice. <laughs> Daffy and Katie Hopkins, <laughs> uh, stay tuned because after the break I'm going to be probing even further into our celebrity housemates with, you're not going to believe this, actual Graham from Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> actual Graham! Uh, so in the words of Katie Hopkins, you'll be a twat to miss it. See you in a bit. Brothers, bit on the side. Where listen, just like Callum, if you come for us, then we'll shut your ass down and break you, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Sounded more like Cammy than Callum. <laughs> uh, time now to check back into the house where the housemates have been having a lovely little chat about dogging. Imagine spending it all day with a trucker, just bouncing along in this, right. and then stopping at stopping different... and then sleeping, and it would have been hilarious. And then dogging. Ha! Bit of talking uh, on the side, yeah. That, possibly. I always make you laugh when I see that sign, park and ride. <laughs> and I always say it's not a dogging area. <laughs> <laughs> what does dogging mean? Oh, God. Oh, uh, well. Cheddar's. Oh, it's got that one. No, Cheddar's is... Yeah. Well, it means, um... <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let the Cheddar's have got it. It's all over. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. What is it? Go on, explain uh, away, uh, Cheddar's. You pull up in a car park and have sex with people? It's called dogging? So you go out into a field or a car park, and other people in the come car, up. though. Or, yeah, no, it could be outside the car, but it's about. You could be dogging outside of the car. Yeah. yeah. So it has nothing to do with being in a car. No, but as no, a, the general basis is, you come up in your car, yeah. you pull up, people know what to do. And a lot of people come and watch the others do what? it. What? Yeah, that's yeah, what so it's, it's all about. So it's an area you pull on flashes people watch. People are watching. Yeah. No, I know. Uh. What? I don't care what anyone says. Perez knows what dogging is. Yeah. He knows. He knows. Yeah. Right, well, listen, a celebrity big brother draws ever closer to the finale. It's time we found out just how the housemates are coping and what their future holds. Now, we are used to seeing him on the actual Jezza Carl stage. Uh, so this should be quite easy for him. Please welcome psychotherapist Graham Stanier. Graham, thank you for coming on the show. This is You're like old pleasure. I watch you like every morning. Um, first off, this series of Celebrity Big Brother, explosive or what? Well, on a scale of uh, one to ten, on a complex scale, I would say it's off the scale. It's off been so the scale. Ex yeah, so explosive. How does it compare to Jeremy Carr, what you deal with there? Well, on that same scale, I'd say probably it's a, it, we would rate it maybe five or six in mm. terms of conflict. But this is just off the scale. I've never seen conflict like this. It's, it's been so crazy. And there's one person that's really all behind it, and that's Perez, isn't it? It is. Um, I thought it was a good idea to take Perez out of the situation. 
and, uh, and put him in solitary confinement, <laughs> genuinely just to give him a break from all this conflict. But he genuinely survives on conflict. We've seen him fight with literally every single person in there. Yeah. How do you yeah. think he's coping personally being in there? And like he says, you know, I feel that I'm a bit ostracised from the rest. He does play the victim. Um, but then again, you have to take into consideration that he does thrive on conflict. And he will look at any minutiae and pick it up and build that into this huge, big drama. And then he will involve other people mm. in his drama. And so the drama will then continue. Always escalate. Always escalate. You know, if you and I were in one tenth of Perez's drama, we would be emotionally drained. Oh, God, well, I'm drained watching it. Do you know what I mean? But it looks like he, he needs that constant adrenaline shot. But you he, know? he gets that from Katie Hopkins because she's not frightened to start a row with him, no. is she? How do you think no. she's coping in there? Well, these two people are not polar opposites. They're very, very, very similar. Mm. And they both thrive on the same thing. What are you making of their rows in particular between the two of them? The rows, again, are usually based on something very, very small. Uh, it's usually based on gossip. They're usually the two busiest housemates carrying around gossip and then trying to make something explosive. So they're, they're digging deep. They they're are. Digging well, deep. If we were to put them on Jeremy Carl, what would you be saying to him backstage? How would you try and help <laughs> Katie Hopkins and you Perez Hilton? Uh, if they were on the stage, I would genuinely say to them, never darken each other's doorstep again. Just don't look at each other. Because you know what? The analogy is dynamite match. They just time. shouldn't be together. Absolutely not, and um, it's never going to work. At any level, it's never going to work. Well, tonight we saw a bit more of a feisty side to Callum. Yeah. How do you think he's coping there? Because he's kept a lot of it in, hasn't he? He's got great coping skills, Callum. He's a good, honest bloke, and he's got good coping strategies. And when you see there's a lot of conflict going on, watch Callum walk away. Mm. Because if he stays within it, it's likely that he will become not unstable in a psychological way, but unstable, because he really in does like to contain his emotions. He really does. But do you think the house is getting to him at this point now? We're in the finale week. They've been in there nearly a month. Do you think this is the time where he's starting to crack? No, I don't. I think you'll constantly see Callum walking away. Uh, and if Perez follows him, you know, that becomes a problem. Mm. Because he's walking away from the conflict. Perez is following him to the bedroom. Perez is following him to continue the conflict. And so then he walks into the garden, and Michelle, I saw earlier tonight, was saying to him, you know, calm down, Perez. I don't want you to do this. But he wanted to follow Callum and then get and into that conflict on. again. Yeah. Let's, let's move on to Katie Price, probably one of the polar opposites of Perez. She's very much kept herself to herself in the house, which has surprised some people, mm. and I know in our audience as well. Mm. Um, how do you think she's coping in there? Well, she's not exactly isolated herself from the group, but she's not integrating in that group either. And I don't know whether it was to her advantage to go into that group late. Mm or whether it was to her disadvantage. Well, this is what I'm saying, that we've, we've discussed this quite a lot, and a lot of people are saying it's an advantage because she can see how people are acting and stuff like that, but, mm. you know, we had Cammy, one of her nominations mm. was for Katie Price, saying she doesn't deserve to win it because she's not been in from the start. OK. Well, I think what she learned in the first week when she wasn't in the Big Brother house is that certain disclosures were scrutinised by the public. Yeah. And there was criticism on the back of that. And if you remember when Katie went in, she made real disclosures in yeah. the early stages about herself, about her sex life, her about exes, her private life, yeah. so, uh, about her ex-boyfriends, all of that. And I think she sat there now pondering, did I make the right disclosures here? Am I being judged? It, it's much better just to be quiet. What advice would you give her? Katie, just be yourself, you know? You're loved, you're liked, you've got a great following, but people want to know who you are. Let's, let's, let's move on to Chegwin. Poor Keith. I mean, he's, he's having a bit of a rough ride in he there, is. isn't he? he How is. do you think he's coping with it? Because we, we're used to a happy Keith Chegwin, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. And it seems that that's slowly slipping away from him. Well, he gets good support from uh, the other housemates. That's genuine. Uh, I think he finds it difficult to be heard. Mm. I genuinely do. The volume is quite high in that house. And it's very difficult for him to interject there. It really is. But with him, I don't think he's struggling too much. I think he's got good support. 
He, he self-admittedly said he's a very happy person throughout life, literally. He doesn't have a down day. Is it... How hard is it for someone to be that happy in life, let alone in there? I don't think you can be happy every day. I think we'd all strive to be happy every day. But, you know, situations in our life will make us unhappy. I think if I were in that house and I were Keith Chegwin, there would definitely be days when I would be unhappy. Can we get you in there? No. Oh! <laughs> not, I had to put it out there. Uh, listen, you touched on her earlier, Michelle. Now, she's gone from sort of getting heavily involved to taking a back seat and trying to calm it yeah, down. Yeah, How yeah. do you think she's coping? I love this lady. She's the voice of reason. I absolutely love her. Every time I watch this lady on TV, she's sat in the background, she's listening constantly, she's observing, and then she goes in with the voice of reason. She's such a strong lady, and people actually listen to her. Is that because she's quite a balanced person in herself? She is. She's absolutely balanced. Um, and not many people take her on. Yeah. Only Perez will take her well, on. Well, Perez will take anyone on. He Perez really will take will. a bedroom door on if he needed to, he I really think, will. safe to say. <laughs> uh, finally, let's quickly move on to Cav. He's not always been at the forefront of everything, unless mm. he's had a little drink. Yeah. Uh, how do you think he's coped throughout the whole experience? He needs to assert himself more. I think, again, he, he, he doesn't cope well with the volume in that house. You know, he will definitely just blend into the background. But when you see him one-on-one, -on -one, he's walking in the garden with Callum, you know, he's quite supportive. But he will blend into the background if he's not more assertive within the house. What do you think the future is going to hold for him, then? Do you think coming out of here he's going to embrace the opportunity and try and carry it on? Or? I hope so, you know, because in life you've got to grab every opportunity and just progress your life forward positively. And I think he's able to do that. And just in your opinion, who do you think out of our remaining housemates winning would mean the most to? Michelle. Michelle? Yeah, Because I do. of what she stands up for, do you think? Uh, absolutely. She's got so, such good values. Couple of A's in the back there. <laughs> you, you can clap, it's legal. You're fine. Such good values, such good principles. You know, an all-round good, strong woman. Let me just quickly ask you, devil's advocate, if Perez actually wins, <laughs> what do you think will happen to him as a person? Oh, my God. I know it's a bit of a million-dollar question. I know, um He's off the scale sometimes. I think he would be even more off the scale because it's almost validating those behaviours. So if Perez were to win, the general public are saying to Perez, you know what, your behaviour was exemplary. Yeah. We support you. Yeah, it is, it is a validation, isn't it? It's the it, validation really? of that behaviour. And to be honest, we can't validate that kind of behaviour. Well, there you go. He's still there. He is still there. How, how many people have you come across that are like Perez in real life? Not many at all, not many. Uh, I think the, the need for that constant attention um, at times can be worrying. Mm. It really can be. Um, and there is a manipulative side to Perez, as there is with Katie Hopkins. Like I said, they're very, very similar. Do you think it's real? Yeah, I do. That's the scary thing, isn't it? That it is actually real. Yeah. Uh, listen, give it up for Graham. That was great. I love that part. Absolutely love that part. Um, before you go, there is actually one housemate that we haven't actually spoken about. Oh, OK. Uh, and she's actually waiting backstage for you, I believe. Uh, so, Graham, if I can get you to do your proper Jezza walk okay. backstage uh, for the CBB Bot Show. Uh, Graham is now about to join the angriest woman in the world, ladies and gentlemen. He's uh, literally going backstage. I've never been done before this. Never been done before on this show. He's, he's about to meet the angriest woman in the world. Hello. Lovely backstage <laughs> shot there. There they are. Hello. Let's the hope it's all going to go well. No, it's no, looking no, well. Never. There's a bit of a love-in, really which is How nice. It's a bit of a love-in. We're going to really join you straight after this break. Don't go anywhere, because we'll have all the fallout straight mm -hmm. after. Yeah. <laughs> uh, welcome back to Celebrity Big Brother's bit on the side. Now, listen, you might you might not remember, uh, but before the break, I set Jeremy Carl's Graham the challenge of psychoanalyzing our most recent evictee, Cammy Lee. Uh, so let's see, they were getting on all right, weren't they? Let's see how they've been getting on. <laughs> I 
Okay, then I'm um, good luck with that one, Graham. Uh, it's time now to check back into the house. It's time for a bit of diary room uncut. Oh, yes. <laughs> Let's do this. Comfy? I'm ne nearly. Yeah, I had a horrible dream. Good. Yes, I'm comfy now, but thank you. Positive? Ah, yeah, no, got it. Yeah, definitely uh, shorts out of my crotch. Um, I was in this house and people were cooking. Katie, is there anything else you wanted to talk to me, brother? No, about? I'm pissing off because I'm, bo I'm boring. Really, darling? I don't like ostriches, and they serve me this big, big, big plate, and it looked like meat from, well, it looked like white meat, and then when I got close to it, it was a big, big bird with, like, feathers on it, and it had white meat, and it had its claws coming out. Uh. Big brother doesn't think you <laughs> <laughs> bloody am. <laughs> and then, I think because of those horrible hands last night on the table, Everybody had hands like that, them scary hands. Wasn't nice. Do you really want to be on EastEnders? I would love to be on EastEnders. You know that EastEnders is filmed across the road. From Elm Street? People on the ice. Did I just bark? Oh my god. God. The Queen Vic is a stone's throw from here. Shut up. Can I go? I feel like I'm being stalked by an elderly gentleman in a dressing gown. Keith, is there anything else you wanted to talk to Big Brother about? No, just to say thank you. It really is nice. We've had uh, some tough times recently and it's uh, you've been looking after us, so a really nice party. No strings attached and uh, just pure fun. Thank you. Big Brother just wants to know what you are willing to do to continue the party. Well, I'm willing to get the dance party started again. Um, more games. Why did I just fucking bark? Oh my god! And possibly... Yes? Snog. Thank you, Kavanagh. Callum. Big Callum. Thank you, Callum. No problem, mate. Fucking hell. You get Kavanagh up here and you can tell the difference. <laughs> Let me out. Right, I'm gonna love you and leave you. <laughs> Big brother never makes mistakes. No, oh, well you did. Apart from that once. Yeah, okay, good. That one time. We can let it slip. Ribbit, go on. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Just do ribbit, ribbit. And Big Brother apologizes. It's all good, mate, no problem. Oh come on. Ribbit. <laughs> Rivet, uh, so back to the show, and guess what? I've got a little beret. Got a little beret. The craft theme is continuing because uh, the housemates yesterday have been getting all arty. Uh, I've got three works of art. They painted them in the house. The actual house art is here. Uh, the name of the game is simple. I want everyone to guess who painted what. It's quite simple, isn't it? Easy, easy does it. Uh, but first, I need to welcome my glamorous ascent. Ascent. Assistant, Cammy Lee! Yeah. She's working that. She's working it. Right, so Cammy, are you ready? I suppose. OK, let's start with our first masterpiece. So, if you would like to reveal. Oh, OK. So here we have a beautiful canvas. We've got some words. We've got from, raw, to, little telephone, a smiley face, a love heart and a light bulb. Graham, it's over to you. Perez. You think that's Perez? Anger uh, through to the later stages of trying to get on with everyone. So you see anger there. You yeah. see anger. Claire? I think that's Michelle. You think Michelle? Why yeah. Michelle? Um, because there's a picture of two little girls holding hands and a heart. Yes, there is. And the face above it, that looks a bit like Michelle. OK, Dappy, what do you think? I would have said I have a Michelle or Perez here. Yeah. You're going to go for Michelle Perez. What do you think? Michelle. Michelle. Yeah. Michelle. Yeah. They think Michelle. Let's reveal. Katie Hopkins! So 
Graham may be on the right track with the anger there. Oh, Maybe okay. on the right track. Kate Hopkins, you just oh, correct. Hey, hey. All right, well, good luck to you. Uh, right, let's move on to our second piece of art. <laughs> Cammy Lee. Oh, oh, OK, so it's very all over the shop. It's quite splattered about. <laughs> it's quite abstract. We've got some sort of plot in the middle. We've got a love heart and the year. What does that say to you, Graham? It's very dark, that, isn't it? It's a oh, dark dear. painting. I'm going to go Perez again. You're going to go Perez? Yeah. Claire? <laughs> I'm going to say Perez because it just looks a bit like... Um, all over the shop. Yeah, spoiled child kind of... Yeah. Mm. Dappy? So again, it just seems like you just don't care. Just so stuff. clean sweep Perez from the panel. What about you lot? Perez! <laughs> You think Cav, a lot of you think Perez, Cammy, let's see who it is. It's Perez! Oh, artists over there. Uh, and finally, let's move on to our last one, and I believe this is a very atmospheric one. Cammy, reveal it, please. Whoa, OK. So we've got a green eye there. That could be green with envy. We've got a big banana. We've got the, a devil type looking, the year, a rainbow, a ladder. I believe some form of man. Graham, what is this saying to you? Uh, Michelle. That's Michelle. Why Definitely. Michelle? Um, she's a great supporter of uh, LGBT. There's yeah. a rainbow With there. The rainbow. Um, oh, I that. Yeah, that's probably the biggest clue. You're going to go for Michelle. Claire? Oh, I don't know. Babe, it's not news night, it's bots, babe. It's a lot. <laughs> this is pressure. I want to get it right. We'll have a little guess. Um. <laughs> Michelle! Oh, there's a banana in there. Yeah. What could that mean? It's not Alicia, she She's went a long again. while ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, Michelle. Michelle, Dappy, what do you think? I'll go with the audience. Pricey. You think it's pricey? Yeah. You think it's pricey? Yeah. Cav, pricey. Yeah. And Michelle, right, <laughs> Cammy, for the last time, reveal whose painting that is. Oh. Oh. You got that again, you got that again. <coughs> so some nice bits of arts there. Give yourselves a round of applause, that was nice. That was nice. Nice bit of culture. And please give it up for my glamorous assistant, Cammy Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's time now to dip back into the house and here is a little exclusive just for you. They're going to drop a bomb in the evening. Ooh, That's yeah. why everybody's Thank names you. are what? not up Perfect. for nominated. Perfect. I know you like it stronger. That's perfect. Why? I don't fucking know. <laughs> that is. There's a reason everybody's names are not up for nominated. I think you're right, actually. So well, then... you think they're lying? Oh, hang on then. No, I don't think they're lying, but they also didn't say that everybody was going to be up. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, so they, how, they did to they her. They did to me. Specifically, everybody... Yes. No, all they said is the public's voting. Oh. Hey. Dude, shut up. Oh. Right, OK. This, this That's a different thing. Right. None of us have to nominate doesn't mean that everybody's going to be up. So I... Right, there is just enough time now to do some quick fire questions. So, can I get a lighting change, please? <laughs> that was crap. <laughs> Could have had a bit of thunder. Uh, right, so I'm going to ask you some quick fire questions. You need to answer as quick as you can. Are you ready? Yeah. Good, let's go. Claire. <laughs> oh. Why did Callum Best laugh at you? <laughs> because I was, years ago, it was out in a club and someone. Not knocked over my drink and he just pointed at me and laughed. Not interesting at all. Dappy, <laughs> which housemate would you motorboat? Oh. Um, the one sitting right next to me. Whoa! <laughs> Kelly, why were you wearing bikinis in the middle of winter? Because I can, honey. <laughs> Claire, Spidey or Perez? Spidey. God, I bet you never thought you'd say no. that. No. Dappy, Cammy or Chloe? Uh, Cammy. Of course, Cammy. Of course, Cammy. Oh. Graham, who's better best forgotten in there? Ooh, Perez. Dappy, who's most controversial? Katie Hopkins, obviously. Katie Hopkins. Yeah. Cammy, have you spoken to your sister yet? Oh, all day, every day, baby. And how did it go? It didn't go too well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that later, moment. Uh, Claire, who's your biggest disappointment? Ooh, um. Quick! Katie Hopkins. Dappy, Katie Hopkins or Katie Price? Wow, you can't put that on. No, oh. so on. <laughs> no, no, I'm not going to answer that. It's too much, too much. Cammy, who do you miss the most? Uh, Patsy. Patsy. Graham, who would you like to be sent down the steps tomorrow night? Uh, Perez. 
Cammy, who's the most surprising housemate? None of them, they're all fucking boring. <laughs> Graham, who doesn't deserve to be in the final? Wait. Who don't deserve to be in the final, Graham? Who doesn't deserve to be in the final? Uh, Cav. Cammy, yeah. swap a remaining housemate with one that's been evicted. Me with uh, Cav. That's time to help you! Yeah. Yeah. time for tonight. A massive thank you to all of my guests and our fantastic audience. Join Emma tomorrow night at 9pm on 5 for a double whammy eviction. I'll be back afterwards at 11pm with all the fallout with Louisa Zisman, Jeannie Mee Bullard and Jane Fallon. Until then, have a good one. Goodbye! Yeah.